People don't realize how much work goes into making their favorite toys. A lot of these ideas, you know, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, they're, you know, they're fiction, they're, they're intangible, but having that thing in your hand gives you that connection to the thing that you feel so powerfully about. My name is Kyle Wadiga and I'm an illustrator and toy designer. I think good toy design comes from there's a spark to it. When you see it, it's something you've never seen before, but it also feels familiar and it connects with you almost instantly. For me, the good design comes from like, oh, here it is, cool. I, I get it, this hits me, you know, where I live. It was, I think it was either seventh or eighth grade, I got How to Draw Comics the Marvel Way by Stan Lee and all those guys, and it was like, it changed the entire way I look at drawing. A big influence in my uh, early years doing all that comic book stuff was Venom, because it was a really good way to just draw muscles and muscles and muscles on top of muscles and study how that all works. So with Venom, you could like work on your muscles and getting those all right, but then do this gnarly monster face and it looks fun. But I mean, as a kid, even before that book, I used to watch animation movies like Land Before Time and I'd pause the VCR and I'd try and draw the T-Rexes and all this other stuff. There was a small portion of time in my life where I wanted to be a paleontologist, but uh, that quickly faded away once I saw Jurassic Park. And I just, I just kept doing it since then. It's kind of always been something that's been part of me. A lot of the challenges I get now are more about getting the thing that I want into a physical form. As a toy designer, it's really exciting to put all this detail and all this stuff, but if it's not going to be able to separate out of a mold in mass production, then there's no point to it. So you have to work within your limitations while also still being creative. I always try and create something before I consume something. So before I, you know, I watch somebody else's TV show or I do, you know, I listen to music or whatever, I try and give something back into the world before I pull something out of it. I think I wouldn't be able to get out of bed if I didn't know I would be able to do something creative that day, be it toy design or graphic design or just illustrating for myself. When it comes to toy design or illustration or art, I would say make sure you're in it for the right reason. And that reason should be because you love it. You want to be a storyboard artist for, you know, Disney or whoever, then sit down and do storyboards. If you want to do claymation, then make claymation. It's a very popular saying on the internet now, just do the thing, but it's totally relevant. And it's kind of what I do now. Now that I've, I've gone into toys and I, I, I'm here now, I want to keep making toys. So in my own time, I've been making, I've just been making toys. And that you just, like I said, just do the thing. And with enough, you know, willpower, you'll make it. <laughs>